Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Movie Cast, episode 335. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinside. Yo. And Tony Korkanakis. Oops. Yes. Uh, as Tony's, as you can see on Tony's image, if you're watching this on YouTube, by the way, <laughs> um, there's like two things on my mind right now. Uh, and both of them are games. And one of them happens to be the t-shirt that he's wearing. Um, so like... <laughs> I can't wait for the games cast, but we're going to get into some movie stuff first. <laughs> uh, All right. I'll listen to this games one. on the no, movie cast. <laughs> I'm just trying to hype up the games really cast. really selling this one. I it's really am trying to hype up. Cast. The games cast is going to be really good. We're going to talk about Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, and if you're just curious about that game, listen. That's all. If you uh, haven't already. If you haven't already, <laughs> yeah. No, we're going to really – we're not going to do any spoilers, but – you know, we'll, we'll we'll give our impressions. So uh, let's go to the box office, though. Let's go back to... Let's do a movie cast, though. Let's do a movie cast. Um, <laughs> we'll go to the box office. King Kong, well, just Kong Skull Island, uh, is number one. They can't call it King Kong thanks to Peter Jackson and the terrible Jack Black movie. Wait, are you serious? They can't call it King Kong because of that? Mm -mm. They can. Why? No, they can. Oh. They don't want to. Let me oh, they don't want it. <laughs> no ties. I was going to say, I like... Skull Island better. I just think that that's more interesting, but yeah, Kong, but though, I mean, so. King Kong's a classic name. You know what I mean? Like that's just a classic yeah. movie. With, you know, the original. So, uh, Kong Skull Island. Uh, it was number one at sixty-one million. Very good premiere for it. Very Respectable. Good. Yeah, very good premiere for it. Uh, I'm shocked it did so well. Um, I think the names in it are pretty interesting too. Like Tom Hiddleston, Brie Larson, and Kong Goodman. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, it's up and coming, or you know, yeah. rising stars already. Do you remind, remind me that before we start the next podcast to change my t-shirt? <laughs> it, it, it needs to happen. It needs to happen. Okay. All right. Logan at number two. Uh, 37.9 million, almost 38. Uh, Get Out, three, The Shack, and Lego Movie, Lego Batman Movie at number five. So that's your box office. The, notice, the noticeable thing to, to mention on the Logan dip is that it's the lowest dip in an X-Men movie. Yeah. AKA okay, oh. the biggest hold. Yeah, lowest fall yes. off. Yes, it's a good stat. It's a good stat. <laughs> Just uh, making sure I communicate no, that. You know, uh, we've we've talked pl plenty of times about fall off in DC movies, and I just want to mention that yeah, Logan, fantastic hold, fantastic hold. Mm -hmm. um, it, that I mean that that's that's legs right there. It's gonna have some legs. So. Yeah, my, one of my coworkers just saw it the other day, and he's like, "That was a great movie. Wants to see it again yeah. already." Yeah. It's good. Very very good movie. Um. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Uh, I recommend it. Mike, did you get to see it yet? No. Uh, uh, I know you've been – you've had a crazy week. You've also had a crazy surgery. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I don't, I don't blame you. Um, all right. Opening this week is Beauty and the Beast, another live-action rendition of the classic Disney movies, uh, animated stuff. Um, no, that's going to be big. It is going to be huge, actually. Uh, I'll be going to see this, actually, this weekend, probably going Sunday. Corey, I good. think yeah. you have tickets to it Thursday already, no? <laughs> Surprise! I'm supposed to? Oh, you said you were, uh, when we asked you if you were going with us Thursday, Sonia and I, you said, yeah, I'll get them. Oh, I forgot to buy <laughs> oh. tickets. Um, That's because you were having trouble buying them. Like, oh, wait, is it sold out? And then, like, oh, nope, I was just on the wrong theater or something yeah, like that. And, and then, did I buy them? I don't. I thought you said you were getting them because oh, then you found crap. them. But uh, I don't know. I was expecting to be going with you guys, but if not, then that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to go. I don't have them. All right. I don't have them. I'm sorry. I'll check my AMC purchase. Maybe I did it right through the AMC app because it was no, broken. I just, uh, you did mention you couldn't get them, and you're like, "Oh, is it sold out already?" And then I was like, "I don't think so." <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. That was um, a while ago. Yeah. No. I. Uh, I don't know. Huh. Uh, anyways, I don't want to do some dead air here. So, um, <laughs> as this loads yeah. on my phone. Well, I'll be I, going Thursday with my wife. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I will not be beat. joining. Uh, I've got, I've got Thursday's a busy, busy night anyways right now. So, uh, I might yeah. finally get to use my finger in, in bowling. So, ah, bowling. Yeah. I mean, and coffee for those who want to see something gross. It's, it's, it's on the screen right now. Yeah. Um, censored. Yeah, it's healing. Look, look. That's the most movement I've had in. I would say five you weeks. probably don't want to like stress it out too much. Still, <laughs> see you lost one there. Yeah, I can't get it past that point. Hmm. That's as far as I can bend it right now. So, uh, anyways, 
enough about my finger. Let's get into the movie stuff. Talk about some movie news. <laughs> Move on with this podcast. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, Mike, do you want to talk about your knee? Do you, do you want some fair air time? I mean, no, it's all right. It's, all right. It's been two weeks. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. You've had a much better time with your fucking knee than I have with my finger. Uh, all right. Talking about not good times. Um, early reviews are in for Iron Fist and they are not good. Um, yeah. yeah. Surprisingly so, I would say. And this yeah, is like my most yeah. anticipated show of, of like, theirs. I know, really thought. Their, like, I thought this was like the safest of the shows. You know what I mean? Like the easiest, probably, to make there's, it exciting. There's a few problems. There's a few reasons why this might be like this. Oh, One of them, by the way, I wore this just to make sure that ooh, representing. Yep. Did you have that before? Yeah, I've worn it on this podcast before. Oh, have you? Okay, I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Um. So, I mean, this is, what, the fourth, fifth season of a show, at least, from Netflix now? Maybe the uh, formula is becoming a little transparent. We also know that this is just kind of adding in another character for Defenders. See, I think the formula is not what the pro- is the problem. Because, like, if you look at the Marvel movies, they just get better. I mean, as, as No, they don't! Marvel, <laughs> uh, that's your opinion. I mean, some of them don't that's get necessarily better. But, I mean, for the too. majority, there's a lot of good movies out there that are... You know, better than the previous ones, and this is a new character, if an exciting Captain character America for me. I think that I just think that they, um, from what I'm hearing, and I didn't read too many reviews or anything like that. Just from what I'm hearing, though, you have a character that seems like he could kick some major ass, and he may do that here and stuff. But it sounds like it's a very boring show. No, from what I understand, is he constantly reminds people that yeah, he can kick everybody's ass. Uh, and no, he's, he's just being a jerk about it. Yeah, man. no, he's very arrogant. He's very. It comes across as very arrogant. Uh, the one yeah. review I read was like, uh, with, with a white actor, with a white actor, you know, with a white man surrounded by a bunch of Asian actors, he constantly reminds them how much of a natural he is at martial arts. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I read as an excerpt. There's from, there's a lot of that sort of flavor. Great white hope reviews. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know that Matt Damon movie. Everyone was pissed off about that, except for as you guys talked about, people actually in China weren't as pissed off. No, no, they weren't. Yeah, but uh, you know that... they're the ones that cast them. That's a Chinese production. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he plays an outsider, like a non-Chinese person in that movie. Yeah, so. I know, uh, but there, and obviously this character was never Asian either in the comics. Mm-hmm. But people don't really necessarily know that going in. And uh, yeah. I feel like so they're not gonna if that character comes off as a little unlikable, knowing all this semi controversy surrounding it, people are gonna be like, "Ugh, fuck this guy." Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that that could contribute to the negative reviews. This too. um, I don't know if it's justified. I don't particularly think that is, but it's doesn't help if he's just like a douchebag. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, this, the show premieres, uh, well, the whole series premiere, um, season premieres on, on Friday on Netflix. So the 17th, if you're wondering, um, St. Patty's day, St. Patty's day. I'll watch a little of it. I think I'll get like an episode or two in right away. So we'll see. I'll talk about it on Twitter. Probably. I mean, I'm definitely going to finish this one before I finish Luke Cage. That's for sure. (laughs) That's just racist. Yes. Just racist, Corey. (laughs) All right, um, we got a big. Well, there's a the Daredevil um, social media uh, site was teasing uh, user was teasing a big reveal possibly tomorrow for the Punisher. Um, there was an image that was posted for um, Micro on a CD, which I guess one of his uh, uh, companions. He goes by the alias of Micro or Microchip in the show. Uh, so they're saying that the the exact saying, and I had this open. I'm sorry, I closed it. Uh, just says basically. Um, tomorrow's answers are hidden in the past. Hashtag Daredevil. And there's a micro CD. So, hmm. so we're thinking maybe tomorrow is like a announcement possibly for the Punisher. We'll see. I'm just bringing it up now. If it happens, we called it. If well, it they are filming. Or it, they may rap filming. I don't even know. It's been a while. I, I, th- I believe they probably have. I mean, the thing is, is like they're queuing up so many shows right now. You gotta, you gotta wonder like their timetable of release because you have the defenders coming this summer right <laughs> well you already got or mixed up in about the fall this. maybe the fall i think it's probably late summer early fall probably. but then you got that's I my guess punisher i don't was, actually know i thought the punisher was coming this year it's possible i mean you got daredevil season three coming too sometime as well <laughs> not not this well, let's year see. <laughs> 
Well, Luke Cage, let's say that was what September. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so that was the last Darede- Daredevil, <laughs> last <laughs> Netflix release. So uh, it's been half a year now Netflix that they've months, released yeah. their next one. So another six months could... to put it at September. So, yeah. but I, I thought the Punisher was November. Figure. I really thought the Punisher was November for some reason. I really I did. I don't know where like the release came from or anything, but I have not heard any okay. release date. I don't know why I keep thinking that, but all right. Um, it could be though. I mean, that would be cool. Yeah, yeah, it could be. We're I getting mean, something at the in the fall period. We have to. Mm-hmm. We're definitely getting defenders this year. We'll just see. We'll see if Punisher sneaks in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. So, anyways, we have a uh, what? We have that hashtag. It's all connected. Uh, with the Marvel that oh. we've ta- teased about a few times. Well, at least, you know, with Marvel Netflix shows, yeah, with, with Netflix, at least you have that, you know, United Universe, uh, the Connected Universe, except for, while they have, like, the Avengers Tower and the promo that we that, that's out now for uh, Iron Fist, it was on the other <laughs> ones, too. You know, we don't have much ties. Uh, the same and thing goes for you S.H.I.E.L.D. Don't a- you don't actually have that tower in, in the, the show. episodes yeah. of the skyline. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Um... <laughs> So we have uh, another tease coming from the Inhuman set right now, where they're going to have a like the alien writing, I guess, from the season two of uh, Agents of Shield, which I don't remember. Was it the the cave, the the the, the pyramid thing, where the one guy died? Does that just mean that they're gonna use the same language for Cree language or whatever? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like. So it's more like obelisk. trying to be. Well, there is another one of those obelisk thingies that they had in the show. It's mm-hmm. it's it looks like it's on the set right now for um mm-hmm. for Inhumans. So they're using at least the similar things, and you know, it, it. Those two shows will be connected. Let's let's call it like it. We know this. We know we know it. It's just a matter of will it connect with anything else, which I highly doubt. Or will it connect concurrently, or one after each other? Mm. Yeah. Well, those shows will definitely, like you said, will be connected, just like Daredevil and you know Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and. Iron Fist are all connected. Those, it's kind of like their their own entities. These three different you know, like channels of of uh, entertainment here. You got the cinema, you got the TV ABC network, and then you got the cable streaming Netflix. Yeah, like they're all separate right now, and it's kind of a, like a bummer. But you know, they do have little hints here and there and some, but that's it. That's all you get. I really wish uh, Netflix and ABC. Oh, I know that Shield doesn't really like carry that much excitement i mean i don't mean personally i mean like for in the wider marvel universe i really don't think it does in comparison to even the netflix stuff so but i would like to see some acknowledgement because that's the one where it really makes the least amount of sense that like there's nothing going on there between those two but yeah i don't know um it'd be it'd be nice if we got some clarification more like i I feel like Comic Con this year we might hopefully get we might finally get something. I, I don't know. I just if we don't get anything this Comic Con, it's never happening. That's it. I don't, I don't see it. Yeah. I feel like it's already never happening. I mean, we're getting late, <laughs> late in this. Mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, Netflix. Staying with Netflix real quick. We have a uh, they renewed their Lemony Snicket series to season two. So mm-hmm. I watched that. I liked it. Um, although I kind of was interested in the stories that were coming out, and I heard they don't really end too well. But is there any? Oh, so that's post in a series of events. Unfortunate events. <laughs> it's not a series of fortunate events. I know, I know, I know. I just feel like an ending should be an ending. You know, I don't know. It's just, uh, it feels kind of like, I guess they left Well, I think there's like 13 books maybe yeah. or something like that. Mm-hmm. And so like eventually they get to the point where everything comes to a head and you learn about what actually is happening and, you know, some mysteries get resolved. But, uh, you know, it's a slog to get there. I mean... Yeah. It's they're always kind of unfortunate and not necessarily depressing, but they never end on a high note, really. No, no. That's yeah. That's, so I, it's I, the that's next thing. It's like so, oh man, it's the next thing. It's the next thing. Yeah. I don't know. I like the series, so I liked it that it got renewed. So I'll check mm-hmm. out season two. It's funny how the thread on that was like all like oh this is terrible. This sucks. Can't believe this actually happened. And, but it's all it's good. Know, they all, it's all because they love this show. That they're saying this, not because yeah. they. Um, it's actually yeah all right we got um hulu news let's go to hulu uh they have their their own marvel show which we don't know if it will be connected or not i highly doubt it will be uh called uh, the runaways the runaways 
Yeah, that was like rumored to be a movie for a while, and I put this on here for now. It's yeah, I put this on here for Mike because James Marsters is is starring in that. Uh, <laughs> I, I had to put it on here. Like there was a Buffy twentieth anniversary uh, yeah. just recently, so I, I like threw this news in here for Mike because I know he's very happy that it's twentieth anniversary for Buffy. Did you watch any episodes of Buffy for yeah. that? No, no. I figured maybe you did. You're a huge <laughs> fan. I don't know, but anyway, so he's he's commenting I'm about busy how much playing games right now. <laughs> naturally, he's he's commenting how much he loves the series right now. And of course, he does. It. He's in it. He's hyping it. So. But yeah. I thought it was cool. I, I like the comic books. Oh, I like the actor too. I do like James Marsters, so I think it'll be cool to see him in that. And I, yeah, I know you. At said first, the I thought you were said James Marsden or something like. like isn't that his name? That, that happens all the time <laughs> with those two for me in my mind. Like every yeah. time I hear one, wait, is it the other one? No. I was like, oh, not Marsden, Marsters. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. What else we have? Uh, a little bit of episode eight news. Like I said, Corey and I are going to be avoiding. We're still don't going even know to what this is. So. You're not gonna read it? No, no. I'm not. I trying didn't to, see it. I don't I'm not know trying to about. avoid news. Uh, all I'm trying to do is avoid the trailers. So when mm-hmm. I see a headline about Frank Oz, can't is not allowed to talk about Yoda. He said like he's not allowed to talk about the character right now. Uh, strongly hinting that maybe that Yoda's appearing in Episode Eight. Oh God, no! You don't like Yoda? What is wrong, man? I've Clone told Wars. you why I don't like Yoda. <laughs> Fucking I, Clone Wars, man. Oh. That made him have to be so <laughs> fucking incompetent. Well, I mean, it just shed a light on what that the Jedi's problem was. Yeah. Where how many times, Tony? Tony, how many times? <laughs> how many times has this hero failed to defeat Ganon? Because it happens all the time. He keeps coming back. I don't know what you're talking the, about. It's, it's like the same idea. It's a well, he's a, guy each he's time. a big failure. It's a different guy each time. Yeah, it's a different one. What are you talking about? It's Ganon that gets resurrected. He fails to actually win. Yeah, no. Ganon might be the same, but Link is different each time. Yeah, well, from, from my understanding well, of all, the I'm complete... saying is a lot of the the timeline skewed off to a failure from Link. Like he failed. Okay, all right, hold on. Even if I were to just 100 accept your argument right here, that still isn't compared to how many hundreds of thousands of lives were lost in the Clone Wars. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, all of Hyrule. His enslaved. actions directly led to the rise of the Empire. It's true. Directly. It's true. A, B. <laughs> like, Peanut butter and yeah. chocolate. <laughs> All right. Like, fucking, your enemy was right under your fucking nose, and you, you're that terrible that you don't even know it. The arrogance of the Jedi, man. They're all arrogant assholes. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And that made me not like Yoda. Mm. So. All right. So the Clone Doesn't Wars, uh, the Clone he's Wars, going to uh, be a transparent little ghost dude anyway. Yeah, you know he's going to give feedback. Um, <laughs> all right, and Wreck-It Ralph two, the last bit of news we have is Wreck-It Ralph two two was teased. Wreck-It Ralph two, so was that teased earlier though? I thought we saw like a, a teaser for that for some reason. Mm. Well, I mean it's been announced and it's coming. Oh yeah, it was announced, but do we have like um? It's just coming next year, I guess, right? Okay. Yeah, there's a promotional 20. image that looked pretty funny. Uh, I should have posted that. Hold on. It showed him, like, standing up uh, in, like, a cityscape where, like, it seemed to be, like, he was huge and stuff like that. Hmm. But there's these company billboards that are in the, like, background, and they're all, like, spoofs of, like, real-life companies, like, <laughs> Google instead of Google, you know, accent- accentuated. Oh, oh okay. I just, po- I just posted in chat. No, I think, I think that, oh, um, no, 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 no. no, that's the DLC. <laughs> DLC. I know how to copy and paste, I swear. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, anyways, while we look this image up, everybody, uh, we're going to get into what we've been up to. Well, don't forget cool. the Deadpool. Domino, man. Oh, and Domino. I'm excited. Sorry. Domino got Domino cast. Was cast I'm excited for Domino. For Deadpool 2. Uh, Domino's in it. So, uh, we're, we have Cable and we have Domino now. Not going to get overfilled? We don't do we have yeah, but we we still know who Cable is yet, right? Not yet. That's gonna be like their big reveal this year. You know. Yeah, that'll be a Comic Con reveal. Yeah. yeah, you know that will be. Yeah, absolutely. No, no be, San Diego. Like, San Diego. Yeah, that's right. And they'll cool. trot him out on stage, be like, oh, yeah, "It's Pierce Brosnan" or some shit like that. <laughs> uh, Nathan Fillion. But no, I think that uh, it's the girl from Atlanta. Mike, Mike, you didn't see the clues as to why I think this. 
<laughs> why, clues. why it's oh Nathan my gosh. Don't, you can't even can't even talk about that right but now. But why was it you can't why, but you why? can't you can't talk well, you can't talk you can't talk about that. I'm not I'm gonna right keep now. it vague, but why it's so Corey? stupid. It's the but stupidest why? it's like that is the biggest stretch ever. Okay, so it was there for a reason. That's the stretch. It was there man. for that a reason. A stretch. Yeah, no, I I think it is. I mean well, no one has any no, idea what you're talking about. No, they, people do if they've seen if, if they've seen a movie, <laughs> a recent movie that Mike hasn't seen yet. It's, it's a stretch, but um, yeah. Domino. As far as Domino goes, I am a fan of the character, and I'm very curious to see how they use her power so, on screen because her name power of the is basically luck, right? What's the name of the actress? Oh, one of those. Yeah, what's the name? So of the I want to see like it could it could result in some pretty funny gags and stuff. So I'm excited to see how they do, especially in the Deadpool universe. Yeah, well, that's true, and I just like who is the actress that was cast? It's uh, Zazie Beat from <laughs> Atlanta. I don't know how to say her name. I apologize. No one knows, if no, it was no one knows who she is. It's all right. Close enough. So that's she cool. Seems, yeah, seems good. All right, cool. All right, let's get into what we've been up to movie movies and TV wise. Mike, anything? Um, I tried to watch most of uh, Walking Dead from like three weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> I got through most of it, but then I had to stop. Um, not, not on purpose. I just, something came up, but stuff with Eugene, mildly interesting, not really worth talking about aside more than that. I, I didn't I, mind the Eugene episode. It was okay. Um, yeah, it, it, it was all right. I just didn't, I didn't really finish it, but I don't feel like anything probably happened in those last like 15, 20 minutes either. Mm-hmm. Just by the, the, the way it was going. Uh, I'll check it out. Um, what else did I watch? I watched. I'm caught up on Legion. It's the only show I really. I heard that's really still really good. Yeah, it's very interesting. I um, we've got a real like trippy, like very M-rated episode. This last episode, there's like actual nudity in it. <laughs> well, rear, of but Eugene? still. No, we're talking about the Legion. Legion. Oh, I was like, <laughs> wait, what? Yeah. No, we don't. We don't need Eugene's ass. But, um, and yeah, we get a, a bigger sense of this guy's po- possible powers or, you know, what his biggest problem is, too. So, wasn't there like something about the actor asking Patrick Stewart to appear as well? Patrick Stewart, I think, actually said he'd be game for it. That's mm. the way that was a title, though. So, I don't know how true that is because I didn't actually no, read it. Clickbait. <laughs> yeah. clickbait. But, uh, I mean, that would be pretty cool because if you know who this character is supposed to be, it would make sense for that character to show up at some point. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it would That's make true. a lot of sense. I, I, I think, um, I, I, I don't see why not. I mean, Patrick Stewart's done TV before. We know this. So mm. best, best role. Jean-Luc. Engage. Jean-Luc. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, Legion is still very um, compelling. And then, then I saw, what did I see? Oh yeah, Legends of Tomorrow, which is still just dumb fun. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> um, all right, I've caught up on the hundred. Um, there took you me go. A bit. Yeah, I was a little behind, so I caught up on that. Um, it's pretty good this year still. Uh, this season, it got renewed for season. There is a character that I hate. Not, that, I don't hate, but I just wish this character would go away. Um, um and I'm, I'm assuming you know who this character is. Uh, there's a couple. There's a couple of hated mm-hmm. characters, but there's one that uh, I don't like. Um, yeah, I'm assuming it's the same character. The then, head guy? Because I don't think it... I'm not going to say... We can't say anything, but right. I'll, I'll take it offline. All right. Um, so, yeah, the show is... Again, the guys... Uh, the show got renewed for season five, so I'm very happy. And I'm in a good mood tonight because the show is very good and deserves to be renewed. Mm-hmm. Uh, if anything deserves to be on CW, it's that show. Um, as it's it's their best show on, on that they have. Uh, and I've mm-hmm. been watching Riverdale... Um, and Riverdale has turned into the CW show. I mean, it is CW all over the CW, CW, CW. Like, that's how I describe the show. So turned you, into it in the second episode. Yeah. So now you all know <laughs> the plot for Riverdale. Take the man out of the city, yeah. but you can't take the city out of the man. Like, it's amazing how fast. Because like, you watch episode one, you're like, that was actually kind of cool. They they stick to this like really cool mystery that they have going on, and they kind of do. But they kind of like really, a Twin Peaks kind of thing yeah, going there. Yeah, but they really saturate it with CW crap. Like, it is just ugh. Over I mean, top. but like that's what they that's, do. That's what Archie though is though. So like, 
it makes more sense there to me. Than I, I'm not saying else. it doesn't, Mike, but I'm just like I'm so tired of CW crap because it ruined my previous shows. That yeah, for, at this point, I'm behind. I'm not behind an Arrow. Uh, you're watching Arrow. Taking... You're, wait, so you're watching Legends of Tomorrow, but you're behind on the Flash. I'm behind on the Flash. I think Flash is the worst of the three right now. Wow. Flash is really bitchy. Probably. Shit. I mean. I mean, I lost interest in. I love. And I mean, you know, there I was the Flash the speedsters now. now. <laughs> What's that? How many speedsters do you have now? It's just too much. It's too much. Uh, well, right as usual, there's. Well, actually, if we count the villain for this season and all the Earths, every other like, season, no, no. <laughs> every season, just, just for the this just for this season and the like allies Flash has now. Uh, that's four, four right now, like uh, in the last few episodes. Because there's Jesse, there's Wally, there's Barry. Barry. And then there's whoever the hell Savitar is. Yep. Who the it's fuck the, is Savitar? It's the it's the villain for this. this it's the, it's this, the this season's it's every villain. Like, every season's now, villain he, is he in a speedster. He doesn't look like a speedster. He's this big, bulky, he like, looks like trans- he looks like a transformer looking. Like he looks like a speed robot. Yeah. God. yeah, he looks like shit. I've seen honest. the ads. I think he looks like um, Glacius from. Uh, he looks Killing like Sting. shit. And yeah, he's mm-hmm. gonna maybe kill Iris in the future. I mean, that's oh the, no, that's the premise of oh, this, no. this whole season. I don't care about spoiling it anymore because it's garbage. They went on a little field trip to uh, Skull Island. I mean, Earth Two with Gorilla City. Yeah, and <laughs> I heard about that. It was, it was, uh, and then, uh, yeah, I just don't care. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that's so, how most people feel, Mike. You're you're finally starting to. Like, into uh, our waters here. Well, like, it's like, Ar- why? Why? Ar- why waste been, time? Like, here and there, too. They have doing a little more with his, the political side, the Oliver Queen side. It's reminded me a lot, actually, of Telltale Batman, where he's like, should I talk to this guy as the Arrow or Mayor Queen? But uh, it's still overcrowded. Did and... you guys hear – that reminded me. Did you guys hear Netflix is toying around with Choose Your Own Adventures? Mm-hmm. Be interesting, I yeah. think. It's a good place for that. Yeah. Um, but anyways, that's that's all I've watched because all I've done for mm. the entire past week is play games. Yeah. So. Two weeks behind on Flash right now just because I don't yeah. care, but I am caught up with Arrow. Tony, Tony did you watch just... anything? I highly doubt when I heard your oh. profile game time play. No. <laughs> I, no. You, you did 20 no. hours more than me. And yep. I played at work. Like It was only like an hour and a half to two hours a day. Uh, today yep. was three because the battery yep. died while I was at work. Um, I had three days off last week, so. Oh, well, there you go. That'll do it. Yeah, yeah we'll uh, do it. Yeah, I'll be adding to it tomorrow probably. Um, although it does it does confuse your hands with um, Horizon, but uh, it because the uh, the buttons are switched on the on the game the uh, switch. Which is <laughs> Nintendo in general. Yeah. It's so you always been to, that you know, way. Yeah, it's all different. So I went back mm. to Horizon real quick to reacclimate and you know, orient myself to it. And I just did it real quick before we started um, just to <laughs> kind of get used to it again. But um, anyways, Corey, what have you uh, watched? Um, not much actual television or films. I uh, did get to watch some anime. Cool. Just um, – I haven't watched any Catching up Why? on Food Wars or Soku Geku. Oh. Soku Geku? Soku Geku. Oh my god. Soku Geku. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. Um, because yeah, I when the second season, we were, I was waiting for it and I was like, oh, it's finally here. What so. happened with that for me is like it took so long that I just kind of like mm-hmm. got other things watching and died down. So I'll have to check that out. Yeah. No, it's, it's awesome. It's only so. half a season. It's only 13 episodes. So. Oh. Yeah, it, it, isn't, it wasn't as long. So. That makes it like, That's even been worse, good. though. Like, I'm like, ah, so you're going to get like, teased again, and it's even shorter. No, you, mm-hmm. Go yeah. on. Go on, Corey. What? Yeah, but it's it's good. It's still awesome. It's, yeah. I, I, and they're doing like this whole like Elite Eight thing, which is pretty cool. Yeah. But uh, I also started trying to – I checked out because my guy – this guy at work is like, you got to watch this one called um, Excel – Excel Saga? Saga? Excel World. Excel oh, World. Excel World. Axel um, World? Not Excel. Axel World. A- yeah. a- 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 Excel World. Oh, whatever. Like accelerate. AC. Yeah, Accelerate. Excel World. But it sounds like E. But it's an A. Uh, and it's, it's all right. It's like he likes those. He really is a big fan of sword art online and that kind of thing where it's like a video game, mm-hmm. fantasy, then you get pulled in type of stuff. And I was like, ah, I'll check it out. 
Um, I was like, I, I, I like the first parts of Sword Art, but then second half of the seasons are shit. And the he's first like, season yeah. of Sword Art was awesome, and then it just yeah. went down <laughs> so hard. I mean, the, the the shooter one was cool. The shooter part was. I cool. didn't even make it to that. I was just like, this yeah. is. Garbage. I tried. I couldn't. I couldn't get past the the first parts of it. So. Of the Sword Sword Art, the first start of season two. I oh really? It. Yeah, that's good. Like the first part is always good. The second part is the shit part. Then I didn't get past like... the second part of season one. <laughs> that might be <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, right. that's I, yeah that's what it was. When he was a girl. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're Fair all elf and the elf, the elf shit. Yeah. The elf the shit. Elf. That's yeah. what it was. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I just watched the first half and then that's it. And the second season, the first half was great because it's all first person shooter. No. Oh, okay. So really? Cool. Oh, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Yeah, and like the the chick that he's like help like that he meets in there is like a sniper in that, okay. and it's pretty it's pretty good. And then of course they go into the fucking fairy world and they dance around big fairies and Why shit. Why do they keep going back to that fucking fairy world? I don't, I don't know. It's like stupid elf crap. But uh, the Excel world is pretty interesting. It's neat because the actual main character isn't some like normal guy. It's just like this short fat kid. <laughs> Uh, so he gets to like all he kind of is like one of those introvert people, and and then of course the most popular girl in school introduces him to the the virtual reality game, and then they go in there and and all that shenanigans. Oh, wait, does it star Kirito? Hmm. <laughs> Wait, wait, it sounds like about, the same oh, I'm premise. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's you're, a different you're premise. About Excel World. Yeah, Excel World. Yeah, I'm sorry. Excel World. Wait, it's the same thing. I thought you were talking about. The, I thought you're still on <laughs> yeah, sort of. But that's what I mean. It's they're very similar in that in that set in sense. And I actually think they reference like or sort of sorry, but at one point. Um, so, uh, but yeah, so it, it's all right. I definitely like the um, Food War style animes a little more. Just, I like that. You know, a little yeah. more comedy there, yeah. or just go full um, ridiculous. You know. Yeah, exactly. So, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, was, I was telling him he's got to watch like Hero, My Hero Academia. That's a great. One. I'm still gonna watch that myself. Yeah, that's, right. it's it's good. And season two is coming out in April. So, oh, good. I'll I'll watch it before. Incentive. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my my next show is probably Samurai Jack though. Now that five season five mm. premiered, I want to. There you go. Yeah, get yeah. your ending. That you know. I mean, yeah. of course, obviously. I hope they do. People are upset, it. but you hope they what? <laughs> I hope they don't do an ending. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I've held off this many years to not watch it because I heard there was no ending. Yeah, so I hope you I, watch I, it. There's still no ending. I, yeah. From what I remember, I just don't – I couldn't really get into the, the art style as much. And like, I don't know. It's, it's this style. Yeah. It's, just not, it's, yeah, it's not hard for me thing. to say, but like it just – like you said, it just didn't jive with me. Um, mm-hmm. He did the, he did it, the it Clone because, animated, didn't he? Right. Well, the first well, – like yeah. the 2D yeah. animated. I think mm-hmm. Samurai Jack helped them with that because the more some of the action stuff in that was a lot better, I thought. Mm-hmm. So it'd be interesting to see how that affected their art style this time around. Yeah, and right. it seemed more uh, mature this new season, but yeah. I mean, it make, would make sense for where they were like, at. Just, slim, yeah. I mean, it's so superficial, and I, I totally know that's like <laughs> art style, but it, if I mean, just hear me out. Like, if you took Samurai Jack's like plot and characters and all that story and whatnot, but you did it with like avatar or like horror style animation like oh man oh yeah definitely that would be so compelling Mm -hmm. yeah no the story is interesting and i do like it it's just the art style that really is what threw me off like yeah Hmm. yeah all right uh i think that's gonna wrap up what no i was gonna say but that's that's what it's known for too is like that that art style so yeah all right i think that's gonna wrap up the movie cast episode Let's 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 put a bow on this one. Yep. Uh, right, uh, listen, listeners, viewers, you can write us podcast allgeekgeek.net. Follow us on Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Um, if Corey forgets to put the right audio on the podcast, you can watch YouTube Ooh, usually. Shit. Oh, that's that. Fire. That's a call out. That's mm. a call out. God damn. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm more than willing to let you guys do it. Like, it's all good. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Jim, Jim is the one firing shots here. I'm well, just... uh, listen. In, in Corey's defense, it I wasn't... also posted a mistake on YouTube two weeks ago where I had no audio. So, you know, it happens. It's, I'm just making. Mm-hmm. I'm just having fun. So, if you listened to the episode last week and heard it was the exact same episode as the week before. Listen to 334 again because it was different, I promise you. Yeah, we re re released it on cast, right? Friday. That was the games cast, right? Or Saturday. The games yeah. cast, yeah. which was the better episode, too. We had a lot of Switch stuff in there, and yeah. uh, you guys mentioned your first impressions of Breath of the Wild. Yep. And we talked a little bit more about Horizon, which this coming episode is going to be very similar. <laughs> it's going to be really similar. All right. <laughs>
because I don't think there's anything else. But let's get into it. Uh, we'll, we're going to stop this one. So thanks for listening. Uh, tune into the Gamescast.